Hey guys. You have to know about this, alright? The original order of the Bible and its actual history and why it was knocked out of order. It's historical reasons and it's spiritual reasons. Okay, this is the Bible we know today. The Old Testament, 39 books. New Testament, 27 books. Um, the King James Version has it this way, so if you add that up, it's 66 books. That's not the most uh, amazing number in the Bible, considering 666 is the mark of the beast. Um, Nebuchadnezzar's statue is 60 cubits high and 6 cubits wide. Um, Adam is a man, and he was born on the sixth day. And lastly, in Daniel 3, verse 1 in Hebrew, um, is when Nebuchadnezzar talks about the, the idol he's going to set up, all right? And in Hebrew, every letter is a number. Aleph is one, Bet is two, so forth. If you add up all these uh, letters in, with their numerical values, guess what it is? 4662, which is 666 times 7, exactly when they're talking about the idol statue in the end of the fifth age coming. The first verse in, numer in numerology is 4662, which is 7 times 666. Okay, so the number is not exactly flattering, okay? And if you read this book for free, AskElm.com, restoring, re restoring the Original Bible, you can read the history of it, okay? And I'll just go over some of the basics. Firstly, it's mainly the Old Testament they mucked up. They messed up the orders of both of them to really confuse you, but the Old Testament's n numbering is actually truly wrong. It's supposed to be 22 books. Look at all of these 22 scholars, actually, that say the Old Testament is 22 books, not 39. So it's pretty incredible that we only follow today's version. Why do we follow today's version? It's arrived at by dividing various Old Testament books into a numerical pattern corresponding to the early Greek version of the Old Testament and placed in an arbitrary codex form in Egypt about the 3rd century. No Hebrew manuscript follows this Greek version. They stuck with the original 22 books, okay, which looks like this. 22. The Book of Chronicles was at the end. It wasn't one Chronicles, two Chronicles. It was one book. Ezra and Nehemiah was one book. The 12, these 12 last minor prophets, Hosea through uh, Malachi, one book. Okay, Book of Kingdoms it was actually 1 Samuel, 2 Samuel, 1 Kings, 2 Kings. That was all the Book of Kingdoms. Joshua and Judges were one book. Okay, so it corresponds to the Hebrew alphabet, which is 22 uh, letters. And it corresponds to, once again, man uh, was, on the, was the 22nd creation, but he was on the sixth day. Um, there's 22 generations from Adam to Jacob, I believe. Um, it's just, it's a huge Illuminati, a naughty number, Illuminati number, because it's biblical. Okay, and now let's get to the New Testament, all right? This is what we have as the New Testament. Um, we after, after the four Gospels and the Acts, we have Romans, and then all of Paul's stuff, and, and then James and Jude, and all the Jews, who, you know, were before Paul, all of these were written, or all of these were written before Paul, not Revelation. Okay, this dude who st looked at over four thousand manuscripts says that it's Gospels, Acts, the Catholic epistles, which mean uh, universal, not Catholic Roman Catholic Church, and then the Pauline epistles. Okay, it uh, goes with history. They muck up the order, and you know why? Because James um, is really a basic teachings. Uh, there's no discourse on baptism. There's no discourse on the Lord's Supper, how to conduct oneself. James is an introductory book, okay, or an introduction. It's an overview. That's why it's so much simpler. He literally said Paul is harder to understand. Look, James and Peter as newborn babies, like it's a progressive way. So, I mean, it's the order of it affects your understanding 100%, okay? Um I mean, you need to read this book. It's incredible. Even Paul even says, The apostles before me, you shall, be, you shall bear witness because you have been with me from the beginning, said Jesus, to the Jewish apostles. Paul was a Gentile, so but the Romans were a little political, and so they put all the, the Jewish stuff at the bottom, literally. It's, pretty, it's a sad story. 
they also had greater administrative authority over Paul. I mean, James is what gave Paul his authority. They said, yes, please listen to Paul. He has some stuff too, and it'll be a little harder to interpret. Hard to be understood. See? The two, two, 2 Peter 3.16 literally said, go to Paul after us because he'll be hard to understand. And he's after us in the in the in general. Sorry, I'm just really frustrated because I've just Googled it and just totally did a clean sweep of the history of the Bible. This is what it's supposed to be, y'all. It's not supposed to be 66 books. It's supposed to be 49, which is 7 squared. See? 46, 62 is 7 times in Daniel. 7 times 666 in Daniel. Okay? It's not a joke. It's not a... It's not not a conspiracy. It's The facts are right here. I just showed it to you. I showed you 22 people who said um, the Old Testament is 22 books, not 39. Okay, please just use its age of information. That's why they're trying to lie so much more, because we have the information right in front of us. Okay, and it, the word was inspired in, in 96 CE. That was probably the last thing. Everyone's like, oh, we got the Bible the right order in the 2nd, 3rd century. No, they already canonized it. They made it into the 49 total books. They, <laughs> all we had to do was translate it in the King James Version. But then they muck up the order to mess up the aura. It's crazy. But now you know. Google it. You need to go to this website ASAP. AskElm.com slash restoring. Thanks.